This is going to be an unboxing and review of the Logitech C120 webcam. I bought this webcam off Meritline for $6. The reason it was $6 was because it's one is refurbished or open box which 90% likely it's going to work, so it's no problems there. And two, it was on sale. I think it's like $12, maybe $10 regular. I forgot what the regular price was. But this is a very good deal for a webcam. Okay, and there, that's why it comes in this just white box. For your note, this webcam does not have a microphone built in. It's just a VGA webcam, and it has a clip, the clip on your computer, if I can... I should get this in the video. Let me zoom out. Okay. Now if you see right here, you have your webcam, it's a nice black wire. Clip because on the back of your monitor and it includes since the mic webcam doesn't have a microphone, includes a mini headset, you know, one earpiece, microphone built in right here, and your connectors at the back. So if you don't have a microphone on your computer, you can use this webcam. And now that you've seen what you get in the box, or what little you get in the box, I'm going to hook this up to my computer and show you the quality. We now have the C120 set up on my monitor next to my QuickCam 9000. I want to watch the text highest end webcams right here. And then they're pretty much the lowest thing you can get right here. But surprisingly, for the co price of this one, you will see very good quality in a second. Now let me show you the back end of it. Now on the back end computer, you can see this clip here. This just folds out like you saw before, and this attaches on the computer. Compared to this one, that one has like a spring in it. And it sometimes seems if you hit it, it will pop off the computer. But you can expect as good of a build quality this one this one on sale was $40 that one's 6 and on regular price when I got this webcam I think it was like 60 so it's 10 times the price you expect quite a bit more quality which it does to install this webcam all I did was plug it into a USB port on my computer and I think because I automatically have my other quick cam installed it automatically recognized it when watch that software downloaded the right driver for this specific model and then it just works right away and I already had the software installed and everything but for you I will put a link right below under for a direct link to the software for this specific webcam right here to C120 so it's an easy process for you to install it right here I'm not quite sure if you actually get these things to, I think this is software of my camera like you can make mask rears but you might you should be able to get this webcam controller here. You get your basic, you have right light, which I would recommend not to enable because it dramatically decreases frame rate on, on your camera. And then you have, so the C120 here, you have light controls, exposure, white balance, you have, can be mirrored, PAL for you people in Europe or other countries. And you just have various settings right here. You have your sensor type, well, all the fancy settings and that stuff. Just just a basic webcam. I got, bought this for my friend because his webcam on his laptop is quite subpar and for some reason his video is upside down and it's much lower quality than this. For, him, for $6 I figured it's, it's a, a good gift to give him. And I go move this out and let's do quick capture here. And I popped up the video. So you can see video right here, me recording, and you can see it's really smooth. I'm going to record a video on that um, with the built-in mic on my webcam up here though. And because I don't feel like using the headset, but it would give acceptable, acceptable quality with the headset right here. But I'm just going to record a video and also I'm going to... I have two Skype accounts, so I'm going to call my other computer and show you what the video quality of a Skype is. But you have to keep in mind that the 
bandwidth is almost unlimited over my network versus over an internet, so you won't expect as good as quality Skype unless you have a really fast internet connection. So now I'm going to go record a video and put that in so you can see the quality of this webcam. Hey guys, I'm now recording with the C120, but I'm using the microphone off my QuickCam 9000. So it it's, could be better than your um, headset microphone that comes with it. It probably is better than this microphone, but if for a thing, I'm glad they include this because a lot of people don't have a microphone already or headset. But if you have a better headset, you might as well use that headset instead of this. But if you don't have anything and you're just trying to get started with video chatting with friends, or you're trying to record videos to put on YouTube with this webcam. This is a very good piece right here. Okay, if you look right here, I'm about um, say three feet away from the webcam, and you can see, see you can see my head, my my shoulders, and my arms right here. But it's not super wide angle. Mine is my other quick cam is a wide angle. You don't even get wide angle until you step up, probably at least $50 for a webcam, unfortunately. No matter if you go check Microsoft, what, whatever webcam you get. The wide angle lenses cost a lot more money, but considering this webcam is $6, the video is very smooth. Oh, that's a little laggy. And then that's just my hammer. But it's, but it's smooth. For $6, the color is obviously a little off. The color is a little bit more orange. That's obviously why. The blue is a lot bluer than that. But the color is off. And if you want to know what that whiteboard is, um, that's my projector screen. You'll see a video on that soon. Subscribe if you want to see that video. But you can turn your webcam. You can also, there's a little focus wheel in here. So I can blow my, kind of get a macro mode if you want to show something close up. And you can focus it out as well. I'm not sure. And focus it back in. And then you can record YouTube videos. This is DVD quality on my computer. I'm not sure. Slow computers might not be able to record as high quality, but you'll, you, I'm not sure. I'm free of any dual core. If you have a dual core, you should be able to record the highest quality just fine. You have an older computer. Video chat should be fine, but recording on your computer might be a lower quality. Like, as you can see, I'm back here. You can. This is probably like six, seven feet away from. You can see my whole body, like this, in my chair. If you wanted the webcam like that, but probably the microphone doesn't sound too good this far away. It's just, or you won't have your headset. But if you wanted a quick video chat for cheap, this is a good webcam. Now I'm going to go put on a Skype call between my computers from my other camera so you can see like how Skype would look. And sometimes frame rate lowers in Skype, which is why I want to show that. Okay, hey guys, if you look between my computers, you can see I'm Skyping myself. Here's the receivers in, and here's the computer I'm using the webcam on. The webcam is set above this computer as if this is the one I'm Skyping on since I have two computers here. But, as you can see, if you can see in front, this is the webcam quality through Skype. Now this is if, if you know internet terms, if you have a meter down in the bottom corner of this computer right here, that shows me bandwidth usage, and if you have at least one and a half megabit upload, you need upload speed, not download, which usually is the fastest carriers and, or the service providers give you, which costs probably usually 60 plus. Well, this, I have Uverse, and that's cost 45 a month for 1.5 up, which is nice. As long as you have like one megabit and up internet, which usually a lot of cable now gives you that. DSL, you're hard pressed even you to get half of that upload speed, but Uverse is very nice. Fiber optic, all that stuff should have the upload speed you need. And you will get quality VGA 640 by 40 resolution sent over as long as the receiving side can also get it. it. Might not always be in focus. It looks a little blurry, but you can just see how this wheel turns up here, and then it look is perfectly smooth on their end. As long as you have a fast enough computer, and also they usually have to have a fast enough computer as well to be able to receive the video. It won't go in the HD. Skype has now supports HD. Like my other webcam up there will do HD if you have this fast of internet. But as long as you have, I would say, a fourth of a megabit, which is if you see 256K, that's a fourth of a megabit 
upload for your um for your internet connection or even if you have 512 that's even better it's usually the fastest DSL allows is half a megabit upload which is what I used to have and now I have three times the upload speed which video looks much nicer and I can even do HD it's possible to do HD with the half megabit upload it just doesn't it's not as smooth and it doesn't look as good because I video chat my friend he has that still and his video does go in the HD but it takes a while to get there but as you can see, this webcam has excellent quality for $6. I highly recommend it if, as long as you have a headset. I'm sure this headset isn't... If you won't have, need a headset to use, this is probably one you can use for the meantime. But I would highly recommend getting a separate desktop mic or something of that sort. If you want a quality microphone, you don't have to have them on your head like a headset. You get a USB microphone. Spend a little bit extra money for USB one. Trust me, it will be much higher quality sound, and you won't. People usually have problems when they have these. Then they have to boost in. Then you have to go through settings on your computer, and it's just much more hassle than it's worth. Worth. So if you get a USB head headset even or a head USB microphone, you will have higher quality and much less pain in setup. You just plug it in, and it should. If not, you can go in your settings on the Skype. And you should just be able to use it just like that. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this review, please subscribe to see more videos. And I'll see you next time.